Hello viewers and welcome back again. I'm still your co-instructor Dr. Donald Mexi and today I'm going to show you how to cover your tracks anytime you browse the internet so that you don't get trace in any moment or any time soon. Okay, so without wasting my time, let's get started. So now I'm on my Sage Security OS. Okay, this is the operating system I built myself, which have a lot, lot of tools. Uh, been uh, installed on okay so it is like a play and go or plug and play yeah play and go or plug and play okay so what you need to do is uh, we are going to use one simple tool to cover our tracks within three seconds okay so without wasting my time let's navigate to the web browser and I show you so when I open Google Chrome this is the web link i'll make sure i leave this link uh, in the youtube video description okay so as i told you this is the tool it's called cover my ass so the best way to install this tool is when i scroll up you see it was uh, programmed by this programmer called sun down there okay it's from i think the, i don't know the country flag but i think we are france yeah okay so he made this too and you know it has been updated yes uh, 12 months ago just like a year ago he updated this uh, application the simple uh, script which is going to do all our manual work in just three seconds because it's going to be automated okay so the first thing is to go here and copy this link and paste into any line of terminal you have but i have this uh, i'm going to write this right here in my terminal without even going to copy because i always like to write commands so the first thing you need to do is to get clone because you are cloning this uh, package from uh, the github repository okay so get clone https always slash github Come. slash now let's check the name of the person which is what sun down dev so cover my ass cover my ass dot kit is a simple you can copy and paste as usual but for me i like to so it's what sun down dev slash cover my ass dot kit so sun down dev so you see sun down dev slash cover my ass dot kit this is the only command we write here then we hit enter so it's going to clone all these repository you see it took like some seconds to finish this process so all the thing you need to do now is to hit on ls to list all the tools and you see last previous tutorial i did of hard pasta you know, cover my ass so we navigate to cover my ass by just changing direction like using cd cover ass. and when you get it you could see cover my ass is all being highlighted to be mostly when it's not that you need to give it permission by using ch mode plus s which is change mode okay then you type in the program you want to add but because it's already done so all you need to do is to hit your dot forward slash and type in the command cover my ass then that is it you found the tool so you say welcome to cover my ass now when you say, you say select an option so to clear your logs for a user search because this is the user i mean and I'll browse the web and other stuff. I can just hit on one to clear all my user logs and to permanent disable authentic bash history. So when you hit two, it will do that. When you hit three, it restores settings to default and 99 years ago. So this is a simple tool to do all your manual work within three seconds. So when I hit one, it's going to clear all my user history. And because I'm doing it, I don't want to clear this for the meantime. So I'll do that and uh, you're going to see the changes in your system. Everything is going to be gone Okay, so that is the quick way to do stuff. So when I hit 99 it means to edit the tool Let me hit on history and see something. So you see 
this is all what I've been doing through Alma system. Okay, you see, I went to uh, get clone to do this. LS, you see, this process I just did it has been recorded as history. So when I hit on one, okay, it will clear all this log. So I want to permanently delete it or disable bash history so that nobody see anything I'm doing. I just let it too. So this is how we use cover my ass to clear all logs and history without being traced using Sage Security Operating System. It can be used on any underlying distribution too as well. So that's it. That ends our tutorial for the day. See you in the next tutorial. I will be doing more, more stuff. Thank you. Stay blessed. Goodbye.